Hey everybody, welcome to an episode of IT with an MVP. I'm your host here, Adam Atwell, Craig Technology Group's Cloud Solutions Architect. We're here to talk today about uh, things that are cloud related, specifically Microsoft bookings and some updates there. Uh, so we're going to just dive right in. Here we go. So you guys have all been here before. It's the Microsoft homepage. Uh, you can see we have the Microsoft 365 picker up here. And we have our different options for the different apps in the stack. Of course, you probably saw the video that I made before about the Microsoft bookings and the advantages that they have there coming uh, with the new personalized bookings page. And you can get to that at outlook.office.com forward slash book with me slash me. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it. We have it linked in the notes. Uh, but today we're going to talk about an exciting update to the Microsoft bookings app. Now, if you've already watched one of our videos before, you probably already know we do have, uh, you know, the ability to go ahead and add different staff members and you can go ahead and um, make different staff available. The one limit that you've seen with bookings, I'm going to go back to the main page here. You can see that it is referring to the new personal bookings page and it does highlight it right at the top. But the shared bookings page is really the way that the initial old school bookings was built. One thing that this has been lacking for some time is the ability to schedule multiple staff at the same time. They recently added that as well as a few integrations I'm gonna point out today. So let's see how you can go ahead and make those changes and see what impact it brings. So first of all, you can see here is the link for the bookings page. I'll bring this up in a new tab so we have it ready to look at after we've made the changes that we do. You can then see if you go over here to the services tab, uh, we do have uh, multiple services. You'll notice the portrait beside each of the, the services titled console. Once 55 minutes, that allows for a five minute break between. You see a picture of me and Lego Batman, my colleague Jorge Vasquez. And then you see the other consults that are just a single one-to-one. -one. You'll also notice the icon here that they've uh, put on these bookings here. One shows one-to-one, -one, one shows one-to-many. And so if you go in, uh, let's go to this top one and we can go ahead and edit this console. Now you will notice in the assigned staff area, area, you do have the ability to create a staff group. This is what's new. The old single staff capability will allow you to pick which of the staff that you want to select. Now multiple staff allows you to look at combined availability. This is quite a big deal as this was not something you could do before. In addition to that, they do also have text messages available, but they've revoked the ability to do these for free and have really put these into the Teams Premium License only. So that's something that you can keep in mind for the future. In addition to that, they have added email reminders as a quick follow-up. So on the other side, um, they can book their next appointment as well as figure out some other things that maybe they might want to do. So that is a little bit about uh, some of the changes. Um, after you go ahead and save them, let's go ahead and take a look and see what that experience is. And so you can see now if we select the 55 minute console, you will see a staff group mentioned. And this does show the combined availability for myself and Jorge. And so now when we do that and we book that time, we'll come down here and I'll just say Adam. Okay, test Apple at, that's great. And we'll just say test booking and then hit book. And now when we do that, it books that time for me and Jorge both. Really quite an ideal experience for when you're trying to schedule with large groups of staff. You'll notice here we do have uh, the two-step verification that we do um, ask. And so this is a great way to make sure that you're not getting sp uh, spammed with different things. So I'll just go ahead and say go back. Um, then the last thing I wanted to point out today were the integrations. So we jump over to integrations, you'll notice that um, there are uh, the ability for Power Automate. And so if you click this, you'll see that what you can do is you can learn different ways to um, trigger integrations with WebEx and Zoom, Stripe for payments. So let's say that you actually want to take your bookings and get paid for them. You can do that here as well. 
um, and then of course Dynamics, Salesforce, and many others. So that's a little bit about what we've covered here today. Um, again, this is an update to bookings that really shows you the ability to book multiple staff at the same time. Um, this has been the first official episode of IT with an MVP brought to you here by Adam Atwell at Kite Technology Group. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to sharing more cloud tips and ways to boost your Microsoft 365 productivity. Until next time, take care.